In order to collapse the menu, what you do is you click on the little negative sign next to the number up here, and you'll see that the menu collapses. Now I'll show you how to input materials from 8000. 8000 is named electrical labor only. These are materials that you normally get quoted. Red Rhino doesn't have material pricing for items such as panels, switch gear, lighting fixtures, etc. You get those quoted from your wholesale vendors. But what it, it's necessary to input those materials to capture the labor to install them. I'm going to show you how to input some panels here. Click on Panels 11005. It, it populates the list at the bottom left here. I'm going to unsquinch this so that we can see it better. And I'll scroll down on this list real slow. See how the, it starts with 100 amp panels and then 225 amp panels? It has different descriptions. Again, we're just entering these for purpose of inputting labor. So I'm going to pick a couple panels here. I'm going to put in 100 amp main lug only 120 208 volt, put in a quantity of these. And I'm going to scroll down here and put in a 225 amp panel. I'll pick the 480 277 volt here, put in a quantity of one. Same drill here, you click Add, it populates materials to the right. I'm going to click Save to save my work here. You'll notice that on the descriptions here from 8000, it says Panel, 100 amp panel, a description, and then it says C Quote. C Quote is a reminder to you that there's no material pricing in, in this. Again, you'll notice if I go over here to the right, it shows a quantity of one panel. It shows zero materials. I get those quoted at my wholesale house. And then over here on the right, it shows the labor to install each of the panels. Next, I'm going to input circuit breakers. You must input your circuit breakers in Red Rhino software to capture the labor for termination. Again, I scroll down the list under 8000. I happen to know that they reside at 11015. So I click on circuit breakers here, 11015. It populates a list of circuit breakers at the bottom. Now Red Rhino has circuit breakers from 1 pole 15 amp clear up to 3 pole 4000. If you scroll the list down here you see the 1 poles, the 2 pole breakers clear up to 3 pole 4000 amp. So anytime you guys have to install a circuit breaker in the field or I should say terminate one you input them here. Now I'm just going to input a, a handful hypothetically I'm going to say that I have a, a few different types of circuit breakers. I'm going to say I have uh, 10 of these 1 pole 20s, and I'm going to scroll down to my 2 pole circuit breakers. I'm going to say I have a couple 2 pole 40s here. Now, normally, what I, I would be inputting this off my material takeoff, you understand. I'm not showing you that portion of it, I'm just showing you the input. I'm going to say I have four of these 2 pole 40s, and I'm going to say I have a couple 3 pole breakers here too. There's a 3 pole 40 here, I'm going to put in one of these, and a, a 3 pole 50, put in one of these. This is the way you do it. You input the quantities here all at one time. Click the Add button, it populates to the right. Again, save your work. So that's how you input materials from product category 8000.